is your first alert five weather with Sam Schreier. Good morning, everyone. Still kind of a large area of fog and mist and drizzle. I, I had to make the radar look pretty ugly to see the drizzle, but here it is kind of best shown from Pueblo along Highway 50 to La Junta north into the more open country, but it's being scooped into Colorado Springs a lot more efficiently and then you get farther to the west side of the mountains. There's really not much happening, so not all of you are seeing super dense fog and drizzle. We've got a lot of it here in the Pikes Peak region, and I'm a little bit more concerned for areas like Black Forest out east on Callahan or to Callahan, Falcon, Peyton, Shriver Air Force Base. We would have the better chance of some freezing drizzle. So watch the stairs, watch some of the smaller roads. Now temperatures later today will not improve much through Colorado Springs. We are only going to go into the upper 40s because I think in the Springs in particular, we'll have parts of town that continue to see fog and some drizzle even through the afternoon. The clouds will not get out of the way till tonight. We'll have more sunshine, at least for the first half of Wednesday, which will help boost us into the 60s. Thursday is a high impact storm. There are going to be wind gusts between 30 to 50 miles per hour. There is going to be heavy snow from Monument Hill to Denver. So those of you driving to Denver Thursday, maybe a day to work from home if you can, weather wise even, not just for the virus. As we go into Pueblo, south of El Paso County, Thursday is going to have a lot of wind and some scattered rain, but not really as much snow and not as much of an impact. So we're really nice tomorrow before that winter storm Thursday. That's just again, not much of an effect for Pueblo because you're warmer and the snow gets kind of blocked up over Monument Hill. Canyon City, you're going to be breezy and warm tomorrow. You'll be windy on Thursday, but not as windy as Pueblo. Kind of a rain to snow mixture at times, but less than an inch of snow, probably like nothing really. And then Woodland Park, I think it went about three to six or four to seven inches possible Thursday. So a heavier snow, not quite as much wind and then drier towards the weekend. 